at 2K Sports with Steve Phillips and John Cruck. I'm Gary Thorne. Hi, everybody. Let's take a look at this starter. And what is this lineup going to see from him today, Steve? I've oh, got a good right-hander on the mound and a good lineup that he's facing right here. And it's going to come down to execution on either side to see who prevails. Let's check out the lineup Dusty Baker's put together for this ball game. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Oh, when Ryan Ludwig first came up to the big leagues, he was more of a platoon guy, spot start here and there. Now he's dependent on to be an everyday player, and he is delivered. Guy can hit the ball to the ballpark, produce runs, and it seems like when you need a key hit, he's the guy you want up. Third baseman up. First pitch coming up. Third baseman, number 37. swings and misses at that fastball. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. He's at 0-2. He watched that fastball that was in there. This is the go-to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung out and missed. Struck him out one away. Number I'll tell you, when you get a fastball up over triple digits, it's an absolute blur to the hitter. It gets on him so quickly, there's about nothing he can do with it. Here's how they'll stack up defensively. John, uh, who's a factor for them? Well, Alexi Ramirez harkens back to me the older days of shortstop. Wiry, thin, very agile, very athletic, can do a lot of different things. But he can hit for a lot of power, a lot of pop in that bat. But I love his arm. I mean, he has an absolute cannon of an arm. No matter if you hit it in the hole or, or behind second base in shallow center field, he can make that spin and that unbelievable gun to first base. The pitch. And another oh. foul ball. And it's fouled off. And the throw pulls him off the bag. He is safe for Harvey Kendrick. Now batting with the one away. Here's Drew Stump. Lifetime. He's got a uh, 285 average up. Here's the pitch. Oh, it's that one low and outside on one. Hot shot towards the hole. Now batting. Uh, oh, one mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate and he pays for it. And the cleanup man stands in. One out with runners at first and second. Hit hard to second. He's up with it. Over to second for what? Back to first, not in time. Quick it up on the relay. In the box now, number five spot. Well, we're going to take a look here, see if they try to steal the runner from first base. Have some speed over there. We'll see if they try to get two in scoring position. And that's going to do it. Bell there. So they pick up no runs. One hit and strand to cover. It's going to be Vinny Pistano on the mound. He's got the start in this one. And as he gets going against these hitters, what's in store? 
A good looking lefty on the mound right here against the lineup that can put some runs up on the board. So pretty even matchup. So it's going to come down to which side executes better than the other. Oftentimes we say good pitching can beat good hitting. That swung on line towards the gap in left center. And he's on. First batter up. That could be a good sign offensively. That's a start this team needed. Get that first guy in the inning up, get him on base, and let's see if they can bring him around to score. And here's how their offensive lineup looks. Any of these bats stand out, John? Well, Gordon Beckham's a guy that has all the potential to be a star in Major League Baseball. Short, quiet, compact swing. If he can figure out and show some consistency, he's going to be around for a long time. Catches the outer part of the plate for a strike. Outstanding mechanics right there. He gets all of his body into the pitch. Great velocity on it. A strike away. He delivers. Strike, strike two with that one. Now it's 0 and 2. Alejandro de Eza will have to protect. Well, you see the breaking ball on the inside part of the plate tying up the hitter. That's a pitcher's pitch. All you can do is hope to follow that one off. Here's the delivery. That one swung on, hit in the air deep to left field. He has to back up for it, comes away with the out. And a look at the D. Infield, outfield factors in this one, John. But well, isn't all about making the highlight play. What you like in a corner outfielder is that consistency. And that's Ryan Ludwig. You hit it to him, he's going to make the play. He's not going to hurt you. He's not going to throw the ball to the wrong base. He's not going to overthrow the cutoff man. He is what you would call a consistent outfielder who just gets the job done day in and day out. Hornsby in the batter's box. Well, this is what you want. You've got speed on first base, tie ball game. You have to do what you can to get him in scoring position. Let's see if they get him going. All one started off the at bat. It's 1 0. Well, he missed with the first pitch, so I'm betting he's going to come back with the fastball right here, as he's done in the past. Low for a ball, 2 0. Third pitch to him, swung on and missed, strike one. Here's the 2-1. Oh! That one goes foul. Ball Tough three. pitch to lay off that time. Full count, 3-2. Well, that right there is a really good pitch. Just missing the outside corner. Give the batter a lot of credit, though. That is one of the toughest pitches to lay off of. That hard fastball away. The 3-2 pitch. Oh, that misses four. ball four. Good effort at the plate to get that free pass. Number four. Well, after a long, epic battle, this at-bat ends in a walk. Are you kidding me? Someone should have got struck out or someone should have got a hit. But the hitter will take the walk. It's going to be Wilson now. Oh Runners on first and second with one out. Strike one. Fast ball is in there. It's 0-1. Well, I have to go out of the strike zone here on the 0-1 count. He tends to be very aggressive here. See if you can't get him to chase. The pitch. Good cut fastball that time. He's in control with the count at 0 2. Well, you can tell he only had one thing on his mind with the swing like that. He's trying to go long ball. Came up empty. Spins, checks him at second. I dive and he's back in easily. to get him to go after that curve one and two one two pitch coming 
Hold that's two. well, that's well off the plate. Two and two. And with two strikes on him, I'm guessing we're going to see a fastball here. Just try to finish him off. Swung on and fouled away. Oh! And he fouls off oh! another one. Well, even if he doesn't get a hit here in this at-bat, the fact that he's making the pitcher work, two and two count, enables everyone around him in the dugout to see every pitch he's thrown because he's throwing the kitchen sink trying to get this strikeout. He just fouled off that low pitch. Oh, and they're going to try for the double steal. Ball three. Oh, my. Is he wild right now? That could be trouble. So they can't make the play. But okay, Gary's to make the error right there. You just don't want to do that. It's just not good baseball. There's one out in the inning, but they let two guys advance bases with a great double steal. Boy, that's got to be a manager's delight right there. Now you got a chance to put some runs across. Well, it's aggressive managing going for the double steal, and it worked. And that's in there. Should score the runner. And that makes two. Base hit and off. a big one. Brings in a couple of runs. Well, he, you would like to see him done it on the first pitch, get that base hit. But if it took a while, it doesn't matter if you're the hitter. As long as that base hit gets put in the column, he is rewarded, and he deserves it. Now, after two RBIs on that hit, you can see how the WPA graph is looking. And a runner on for Alexei Ramirez. And you know, Steve, they needed to take the lead, and they've come through just as we thought they might. See how this plays out. Well, we all knew the possibility of getting some early runs up early could happen here. That was possible. This could turn out to be a very interesting game, guys. Here's the delivery. Oh. Just missed with a fastball, one and up. And guys, it'll be interesting to see how the rest of this inning plays out. Sometimes not easy to contain a lineup once it gets started. It's infectious. Well, you're right, it does. It kind of feeds on each other, Gary. And I think that, that you know, it looks like from a fan's perspective, you got to love this game. A high-scoring game is what they like. One and two. They got both of them that time. Early scoring, that's always a blessing. They get it going here. The home team on top, two to nothing. Their catcher at the plate. Oh. Fastball misses away. One and zero. Oh. One zero oh now. Ball Change two. up just off the black. Falls behind. Two and zero. Oh. But Gary, this guy has an outstanding changeup. I mean, he makes his living by deceiving the hitter. Curve on the 2-0 pitch. Missed. Strike one. You know, Gary, I mean, the reason he gets so many swings and misses on this pitch is the change in velocity. He'll throw the hard fastball and then pull the string on the changeup. The hitter sees fastball, thinks fastball, gets out in front and swings and misses. Ball three. Lays off the fastball low for ball three. Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Swing liner back up the middle. That should be a base hit. Well, a good start to this inning, but let's see if the guys behind him, after he starts out this inning with the single, can follow up and finish this inning off with some runs. Number seven man at the plate. And taking a look here. The pitch types that he's thrown today that have yielded hits. And you can see that four-seam fastball. It's been hit twice already. I think the thing to recognize here is the only hits he's given up have come on that pitch. So he's going to have to be more careful about when and where he goes with it from here on out. Drags him out with a fastball for a strike. When you can spot your four-seam fastball to the outside corner, the hitter has to have balance at the plate and not pull off the ball. And that's on the black for a called strike. Nothing in two. Well, the hitter's dug himself a pretty deep hole right here. Let's see if he can battle himself out of it. He deals. Oh. Curveball. Thought he had him, but it's one and two. Oh, Change two. up tough to lay off, and it's two and two. Got 
Got him. One away. I'm going to take a look at the slider again. A breaking ball right there gets him to swing. You can see that back leg kind of jelly bitten a little bit. He really used the off-speed pitches during that at bat to get it over with. And with a runner on, Ryan Ludwig back. Change with the theme for Ryan Ludwig in 2011. After about a year of service in San Diego, was shipped to the Pirates to try and help with their stretch. Pitch way out of the zone, ball one. And with Ludwig, you got to believe the change is going to help. He goes out of a ballpark that's a pitcher's dream to one that's a little more friendly to hitters. You know, this guy can hit. You go back to the year he had in 2008 with big time numbers, nearly an MVP caliber season. He can hit for power, average, and drive in runs. He just needs to be comfortable with the surroundings. Change up just off the block, and it's two and one. Well, Gary, this guy has an outstanding changeup. I mean, he makes his living by deceiving the hitter. 2-1 pitch. Line drive left of the oh! bag and foul. You know, Gary, I mean, the reason he gets so many swings and misses on this pitch is the change in velocity. He'll throw the hard fastball and then pull the string on the changeup. The hitter sees fastball, thinks fastball, gets out in front, and swings and misses. A swing and a miss for strike three on Ryan Ludwig. You've got to have better plate discipline than that. With two strikes, you need to be defensive and try to make contact. But when you get a fastball, you need to read whether it's a strike or not. And their pitcher at the plate now. Two outs and a man on first. Here's the pitch. Hit up the middle. And it gets down. Whoa. He gave a pitch that time, allowing the opposing pitcher to get on base. You hate that. Number 30. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. I thought he couldn't hit, Gary. The pitcher can't hit. Well, look at that. That's a good piece of hitting right there. Nice job. And it rolls around to the top again. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. First pitch on the way. Oh. Slider just misses one and all. Well, if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. Line shot into center field. That looks like a single. Coming the back. opportunity for Coming offense in. is right now. Number 31. And the first pitch. And it's fouled away. Foul! Swing and lined up the middle. And that gets through for a base hit. One run is in. In the back. What more do you need to see? Now you have to question his confidence. Giving up three straight hits. Not much going right out there at this point. Here's a chance at an RBI for Drew Stubbs. And he's got a shot here to give his club the lead. Just one swing could do it. Well, this is what you're waiting for. This kind of opportunity to change the game. And your pitcher then can go out with much more confidence. Pitch on the way. There's a swing. Line drive. Center field. And another hit back to back. And they get the tying run home. That's run number two. And with that right-hander warming up in the bullpen here, I'm not sure quite what they're thinking. Well, with the left-handed hitter on deck, he's probably getting ready for hitters later in the lineup. Though the rally here energized every new opportunity they take advantage of. So look now at the win expectancy graph and what those two RBIs have done for their chances. Clean up man in the box again. Some production being seen in this game early. They've got a chance now to extend the lead.
Two down. Runners at first and second. First pitch on the way. First pitch, fastball, 0-1. Well, uh, tough start in this game, and, and obviously really laboring in this inning. Up over 20 pitches, and just can't seem to throw strikes. Keeps it down that time, 0-2. And, you know, any great pitching coach will emphasize the importance of mixing up your pitch types. Let's see how this guy's been doing in that regard. Well, that's the one area where he has struggled in this one. The fact that he's just throwing the same pitch in the same location over and over again. He swings now and really hit that. And it's going to be more. That one's grabbed. Side retire. A laboring inning right there. 25 pitches thrown to get through it. strike one. Boy, he just couldn't wait for that changeup to get in the strike zone. You can't try to chase it. You have to let it come to you. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And that's through a base hit. And this rolls all the way to the wall. It's going to bring up a Krasinski. Nice piece of hitting right there. He manages to drive that high 0-1 pitch for a base hit. Good patience, good pitch recognition. Sure looked like the hitter decided he wasn't going to get behind 0-2. He was going to whale. Uh, he was aggressive, no question about it. Got a pitch he could handle and took advantage. That's a 12th season for him. He swings, hits a ball to right field. That's one away. In the batter's box, it's more. Now, let's take a moment here to see the breakdown of the pitches that have yielded hits. Well, guys, looking at his four-seam fastball, that pitch has been hit twice already. And with a lot of baseball still to be played here, he's given up three hits total. And if I'm him, I take notes of what I'm doing that's generating hits, make some quick adjustments here, and I still have control of this game. Hit sharply towards the hole. That's one. Over to first. He is safe. Almost a double play. Not quite enough time. Well, they get the lead runner at second base, but I think they would have liked to have gotten two right there. And their pitcher at the plate now. Here's the pitch. That's swung on and a liner here. That's caught. Side is retired. Quick half inning there. It's over. Five pitches. One of the most famous parks and a gorgeous day weather-wise here at Wrigley. Hard grounded a short. English. Throw one to first in time on the way. Catcher up to the plate. How's he getting these first pitches across? Well, let's take a look. Well, listen, in this game, when he throws first pitch strikes and he goes 0-1, it's making a difference. He's retired four guys when he's gone ahead 0-1. And the first pitch. Strike one. There's a strike at the knees on one. Now that he's gotten the four-seamer down and in, look for him to go outside now. The pitch. Strike Can't two. catch up with that swing and a miss, and it's now 0-2. Oh, Lined foul towards foul. third. A really great pitch right there. That pitcher really wanted the K, but that defensive swing kept him alive. And he fouls oh. another one off. Oh. 
Pops him up. This one to Bell. Two men have been put away. And the number seven batter in the box. Struck out swinging last time. And he starts him out. Too low on that one for a ball. 1-0. Line drive fouled oh. off towards first. And another foul ball. Oh. He deals. Hold Trying two. to get him to chase the fastball away. Two and two. Now the 2-2. Fastball swung out and missed, and the sides retired. Good defensive half inning there, no hits allowed. And it's Adam Dunn now to lead it off. He singled and later scored in his last time up. Big breaker on the old pitch, it's a foul strike. Swing and a fly ball. Oh. That's a foul. Swing liner back up the middle. And that gets the tying run on board. That will bring Alejandro Diaz out. Well, you have to think with the speed that's on first base right now that they'll put him in motion to try to make things happen here in this game. And now let's take a look at a breakdown of how this guy has been mixing up his pitches so far in this one. What stands out, guys? And yeah, mixing up your pitches, to me, he's throwing way too many change-up. He's become reliant on it. You know, guys, the pitch I think he could actually use a bit more is that cutter. Get some movement on it. Let the hitter think it's a fastball and then run it off the center of the bat. I think that would be very effective here. Line towards third oh! and foul. Here's the pitch. Strike two. Strike two with that one. Now it's 0 and 2. Alejandro de Aza will have to protect. Well, that's a hittable pitch right there, Gary. A fastball in the inner part of the plate. But if you're looking out over the plate, sometimes it freezes you. Swung on, line to right field. Gets down. The go ahead runs on base. Fantastic chance here. 0 2 count. So you protect pitch that's up so a little easier to do that. Absolutely. You can fight it off, punch it over the infielder's head. That time, solid piece of hitting. Hornsby in the box now. He walked and later scored his last time through. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. There's a hard comebacker right through the side. Over to second for one. And they get it. They turn two. Execution on that 6-4-3. You have to have body control around the bag. Great acrobatic turn by the second baseman. Outstanding job. It's going to be Wilson now. See if he's getting balls or strikes here. Let's take a look. Well, to reinforce the importance of first pitch strikes. I mean, he's gotten four hitters out in this game after going to a first pitch strike on him. And here's the first one. Swings and misses the slider. 0-1. Gary, he gets a little over anxious at the plate when the count goes to 0-1. So look for them maybe to expand the strike zone and get him to chase something.
Here's the pitch. Swing and a line into right center. That's in there. Should score the runner. At the plate. Well, the hitter makes an adjustment going down on the pitch at the bottom of the strike zone and drives it here. And you get a run scored if you're in that at bat. What you want to do is make contact. He did. That pays off. Shot here for Alexi Ramirez. Two down. Always good when you can get a ball game tied up again so you're not having to look up the offense doing the job. Okay, that was a great piece of hitting right there. Allowed them to pull it even here early in the game. Nice response. Here we go. Here's the first pitch. Swings. Oh, he got that one high in the air. Straight away center field. They pick up one on three hits. Strand a man. Even game here in Chicago. Lead off hitter Ryan Ludwig. Uh, here's a chance to take a look at how this pitcher has been doing in terms of getting hitters to chase pitches outside the zone. Well, I like this performance. Not his best overall, but a very good job. And what he's doing, getting the hitters with two strikes on him to chase the ball out of the zone for the strikeouts. At any time you've got great command and great stuff, and you're locating your pitches, you can throw it anywhere you want in the strike zone at any time. Unbelievably tough on the hitters. Change up. Thought he had him, but it's one and two. Well, if you've done your homework, you know how you're going to tap this guy. you got to go with the slider here. The one-two pitch. Swings and grounds oh. this one to the right side. Foul. The pitch. Oh, and he leaves that one alone. Ryan Ludwig shows patience. I'd leave it up the count. This is the outside corner to run it full three and two. Well, any hitting coach will tell you you can't hit that good high fastball, especially if it's out of the strike zone. It's a pitch you have to lay off of, making bring it down to give yourself a chance. Yeah. A swing and a miss for strike three on Ryan Lundell. Now, is this a category three or category four hurricane at 104 miles per hour? That's that's unbelievable. That's how you use your fastball, using it very effectively. Two consecutive punch outs. And their pitcher up again. He had a single in his last time up. Here's the first pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Hornsby. In time for the out. Gary, you know, he's settling into a groove right here. And that's six in a row that he set down. In the box there, third baseman. One for two in the ball game. Here's the first pitch. Runs up to bunt, gets this one down. Number nine, yeah. throws the first side is retired. Not a lot of action in this half inning, nothing on. And Bell's in the box. He'll lead off the fourth for the home team. Line shot into center field. One away. Number seven. And the first baseman in. Flew out last time. Towards the middle. He dives and he's got it. And he's out at first. What an out. Great play made by middle of the infield. You love that kind of help. He stretched out as far as he could possibly go 
to be able to make the play. Gold glove effort. In the batter's box, it's more. Chase that one outside, ball one. He throws the cut fastball up in the zone, trying to run it away from the hitter to get him to chase. He laid off, but it's dangerous throwing it up in the zone. Slider waved at, missed, one and one. Well, when in doubt, when you're undecided, swing hard, and that's what he did. But he got the slider and he swung through it, but a big, powerful swing. Fastball gets away from him there, two and one. Swung on, liner to right, and he's there to retire the side. In, out of the inning, six pitches and it's over. Even game here in Chicago. Up, to the plate. up now, their second base. Single home run in his last at bat. First pitch on the way. Slider swung on and missed. 0 oh and 1. Here it comes. Ground ball. Bell ready. And he'll try to make the play. And his throw is in time. First out of the inning. Arm strength is critical for the third base. Can you see why? Right there, his good, strong arm, the difference between out and safe. Now batting with uh, one away, here's Drew Stubbs. Well, last year, a bit of a coming out party for Drew Stubbs. Got full time at bats and made the most of it, hitting 15 homers and swiping 40 bags. Not much he can't do on a field. On the way. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Gets through. The go-ahead run is on. Can't cut it off. It's going to roll to the wall. Well, anytime you're a hitter and you can get three hits in a game, you're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. In the box again there, left fielder. And the first pitch. Check swing there. They say he went around. They're going to appeal at third. He went the decision from the third base umpire. Here's the pitch. Drill towards the hole. There's one. Back to first. Not in time. One and two will get him. Great catch right there. That was a big time shot up the middle. I had base hit written all over it, but he got the full extension to make the catch. Up again now, the number five spot. Runner on first, two away. Now the first pitch. Oh. And he lays off one, low, 1-0. One oh. Well, he tried to change up right there, but it just stayed down and off the plate. He's running, heading for second. One and one. He is out trying to take second. Seven pitches and it's done. That's how you save your arm and go deep into a game. And welcome to those of you just tuning in to K Sports Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. He starts him off with a strike on the inside part of the plate. Well, that's an outstanding breaking ball for a strike on the inside part of the plate. It locked the hitter up. He just froze and couldn't swing at it. A swing line to left center. And that is in there. The go-ahead run on board. That will bring Adam Dunn up. Jerry Mack surprised himself right there. Good piece of hitting by the pitcher. Hey, nothing like giving yourself a little offensive support. Two for two in the game.
first pitch on the way. Fastball taken high, 1 0. That's a foul ball. Here's the pitch. Swing and lined up the middle. And he gets it down. That's his third hit. Three for three. So that is going to bring up the third row Diazza. We talk about a guy swinging it right now as good as anybody. That's his third hit of the ball game thus far. Let's see if this can mount a rally with nobody out. He singled his last trip. Yet runners at first and second. He squares around and he gets this one down. He's up with it. And his throw gets it. Right. Look where he placed that one right there. Take a look at it. Perfectly placed. He is out at first, but the damage was done around the bases. Those runners now in position to score. That's good situational baseball. And not a good situation to find yourself facing right here on the mound, Gary. And he'll have to try and find a way out of this if he's going to keep this ball game tied. He, the pitcher's got to be a little uptight right now. He's lost his confidence. They've been working to fix him, but this is a tough situation to make yourself right. Here we go. Here's the first pitch. Fastball, too low. 1 0. Wide fastball right there. Just missed, just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. Here's the 1 0. This is outside for ball two. But with first base open right here in a 3 0 count, don't look for just a pitch right down the middle to try to get one of those get me over strikes. He might still pitch around him to put him on. Here's the delivery. Big curveball right there, and he just missed with it. Runs it down 3 0. Well, you get down 3 0 in the count. The pitcher in this situation has to throw strikes. And that misses ball four. That will uh, go ahead and set him up for the possible double play here to get out of the inning. It's going to be Wilson now. See, we talk about game-turning situations. This is one of them. No question about that. Things can change completely right here. The first pitch, swings, hits this one very high, deep to left center. Gone, a bases loaded over. From a tie game to a four-run lead, oh my, what a difference one pitch makes. Difficult inning on the mound right here. I mean, it doesn't matter what they're doing, throwing over the plate. The opposition's crushing. Shot towards the hole. Throws the first. He's retired. That's two down. Number 28. Little warm up action going in the bullpen. That's a right hander up and throwing. Well, they're going to wait for the right handed hitter on deck to get announced, and then they'll probably make the move to the pen. And Bell's in the box. Last time up, flew up. Swings and misses the slider, 0-1. Oh 
This is the toughest pitch to hit in baseball. That backdoor slider it starts off the plate, and you think it's a ball all the way, and at the last second, it breaks over the outside. Oh. By the time you realize it, you can't put a good swing on it, and you usually miss it. Oh. Ooh, tough to lay off there, but it's still in one. Well, the cut fastball up and away can be dangerous because that pitch can run over the plate. Fortunately, the hitter laid off it and didn't get hurt. Right Lays two. off that fastball. It's a called strike, two and two. The pitcher really rearing back and throwing. He's got everything working now, commanding the strike zone with that fastball. Swing, hot shot. That's going to bring up A.J. Krasinski. Well, anytime your pitcher gives up 10 hits, there's a pretty good chance he doesn't have a lot going for him in the game. And I think if I'm the manager, I'm going to head out there and bring the hook with me. 0 for 2 thus far. And here's the first one. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. Well, when you throw the fastball, that's where you want it to go. Now you can elevate a pitch next time around. The pitch. That swung on and fly to right. That's caught. Side is retired. So they pick up four runs to break the tie. again 12th major league season and he starts him out this one popped towards the outfield that'll be in shallow center that one's coming six slot up at the plate again he popped out his last time Here's the first pitch. Right. It's now 0 and 1. Watch that fastball go by. Oh, Gets the fastball by him that time, and he's in control now. 0 and 2. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. He delivers. Swung on, missed, curveball, struck him out to them. Check out the movement on this on KCAM. Clocks in at 85 miles per hour. Well, sometimes you get fooled so badly, there's just nothing else you can do but hope and pray that you put the ball in play, hopefully foul, to get another pitch to hit. Now there's center fielder at the plate. Struck out swinging his last time up. And the first pitch. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. That one gets through for a base hit. So Ryan Ludwig comes up. Well, you got to love to see this guy get on base with two outs right here with that base hit. Now it's up to his teammates to figure out a way to get him across the plate. Struck out swinging last time. Here's the first one. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. You look at the lifetime numbers, 279 off. Here's the delivery. And that's a strike. Ryan Ludwig's going to have to uh, be careful now, close to being put away. Well, he's a very defensive hitter count gets to 0-2, so I'm going to try to get him to chase something out of the zone. You're out! Fastball swung on and missed, side retired. A little warm-up action going in the bullpen. That's a right-hander up and throwing. Well, they're going to wait for the right-handed hitter on deck to get announced, and then he'll probably make the move to the pen. In the batter's box, it's Moore. He's going to lead off bottom half of the sixth inning. 
and Joe Smith is the pitcher. They've decided it's time to bring a new arm into this one. And it's a one ball count as we get going in the bottom half. Fastball misses badly. He's behind 2 and 0. The pitch. And he lays off on that one below the knees. 3 and 0 now. So anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and believe me, very difficult to hit. This one's bounced up the middle. Hendrick. And out number one as he steps on the base. Number 19. And their pitcher up again. Single and scored his last time around. First pitch to him. Right the 0 delivery of fastball taken for a strike. I don't think he likes that call, but when you're diving out over the plate, sometimes that fastball up and in doesn't look like a strike even when it is. Oh, strike two, up. Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. The catch is made, and that's out number two. Woody England. Adam Dunn stands in, two down. He's a perfect three for three in the ballgame. starts him out here swing and a line drive and it's in there he continues to get on base that's hit number four in this game and that'll bring Alejandro Diaz up he talked about a guy who's just wearing out the opposition that's a four hit day for him he is locked in sacrificed his last time around First pitch on the way. Liner towards the hole. This a great situation for some offense. Number 24. Just kind of lean in, Steve, and slap that thing the other way in that kind of pitch. No, you can't pull that pitch. If you do, it's going to be a ground ball to short. You want to punch it to right field. He's one of the best at doing it. Hornsby is up now. Walked in his last plate appearance. Two men on and two men out. He delivers. A swing and a drive. Deep left center field. It's off the ivy. And he will score from second base. And another one is in. And he'll stop at second base. That'll be a two-run double. Now he's surrendered three straight hits. He's got to bounce back and get this guy. He needs an out. It's going to be Wilson now. And they've not had the struggle here at the plate in this game. They just keep building on this lead. Okay, that last hit just blows the door wide open right there. I mean, they've got a shot running away with this thing. And then the other thing they know is they've got time and outs on their side. First pitch was a strike. 0-1 oh, now. Uh, Gary, you're right. I mean, listen, as a result of executing their game plan, they've done what they needed to and taken advantage of all the opportunities. Let's see if they can keep doing it. Here's the pitch. Oh, Joe two. Smith quickly 0 and 2. This pitcher being very aggressive throwing strikes, I think he's going to try to get him to chase. Oh. 
Catcher can't control it. So they can't make the play. Well, listen, it's all about advancing base runners in the game. you got to make plays defensively, but that error cost him, and he came out of his hand wrong, and the ball sailed on him. Oh! On the way. Popped him up way up there near third base. That's caught. Side is retired. They pick up two, three hits, strand them in. Pitcher at the plate now. Here it comes. First pitch a slider outside 1-0. Oh. Okay, Gary, with this big a lead here in the seventh inning, it's incumbent upon the pitcher to throw strikes. Get outs right now. Here's a called strike. Sometimes when the pitch comes out of the pitcher's hand, you have to say to yourself, I'm going to lay off and wait for the next one. He didn't think you could catch up to it. Good decision. Perhaps this one foul to the right. Line drive. That's foul towards first. The one two on its way. Grounded up the middle. Hornsby. He's and out. that's in plenty of time for the out. Number 37. And it rolls around to the top again. Grounded out his last time through. in the air to center field and it's going to be more didn't have a problem getting over there in time number 31 number two spot in the lineup up again drove in a run earlier in the game The first pitch. Strike Takes one. that first pitch low in the strike zone. Strike one. Well, it's getting late right now. Two outs here in the seventh inning, and you know they're down by a bunch of runs. They need to start to get something going right here, Gary. Liner between first and second. And that's the third out. That'll do it. No scoring here, ending this half inning. It's Alexei Ramirez now, believe it or not. Grounded out his last time up. The pitch. Oh! And that misses for a ball. Well, that pitch right there, that change up away. If the guy's looking for it, that's a great pitch to be able to hit the other way with some power. Ball two. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. And he gets over to take care of it. Third base. Number 28. Les Bell. And Bell's in the box. Two for three thus far. Here's the first pitch. Slider swung on a miss. 0 oh and 1.
Back up the middle. And through for a base hit. He's now three for four. Good day. That's going to bring up A.J. Krasinski. Well, a guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Three hits right now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? Flew out last time. Here we go. Here's the first pitch. That swung on and a liner here. And he can't make the play. This could be trouble. And he ends up at second. That's a double. Well, that's hit number 15 in them for that one. And boy, you get 15 hits in the game. The manager can just sit back and relax and watch his team work. In the batter's box, it's more. Runners at second and third, only one away. Great Sliders block. in there, no balls and a strike. Uh, Gary, if they give up another base hit right here, this, this got a chance to be over. I mean, they, they're going to put the nail in the old coffin, as they say. Here's the pitch. Ball. That misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. Now it's two away. Here comes the runner for the plate. And they score the run. With less than two outs, this is what you want to do. Think about the middle of the field. Make contact, force him to make a play, and pick up an RBI. And their pitcher up again. Here, I mean, with that hit right there, I mean, they're just pouring gasoline on the fire right now. Somebody's got to have a hose. Here's the first pitch. Oh! First pitch is a slider low, 1-0. And, oh. and if you only had an answer, the hitters would love to know where did this come from. More importantly, how do we keep it? There are games like this during the season where you just can't get anybody out. Swung on and ripped towards second. And that'll put him on another hit. And even though they're losing in this ball game, they're going to keep that pin up. And they've got both a right and left hand around. Well, you have to go to the bullpen to stop the bleeding so you don't give up any more runs and give your offense a chance to come back. English up now. He's looking to make it a perfect five for five. Here. They said his last time. Fouled off. A swing line to left center. Gets another one down. That'll score a run. I mean, it's hit number five in this ball game for him. Have a day, young man. And a chance here for Alejandro de Aza with two down. Now, definitely not an overstatement to say this offense may not be stoppable today. Here's the pitch. That's oh. this one foul off to the left. Oh, Good patience oh. as Alejandro de Ezo lets that one go by for a ball. That will leave it up the count. One thing we know is he's not going to take a borderline pitch at 1-1. He likes to swing the bat. So I'm not giving him anything too fine and see if I can't get him to hit into an easy out. Oh, Good looking two. fastball. Call the ball though, 2-1. Now the 2-1 pitch. 2-2 two two and 2 the count. Look, Gary, I think he decided that was a pitch he needed to take. As soon as it came out of his hand, just can't handle that fastball up and away. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. And yet another hit there, seeing the ball well. 
Well, this is getting ugly right now. I mean, he's given up hit after hit after hit. This offense has clearly figured him out. How much longer can you leave him in to take a beating? Hornsby settle again, and he needs to come through here with two down. Infield's got to play back in this situation and get the out at the easiest base. Two outs, bases loaded. And here's the first one, headed for the middle. And another hit back to back. That's one. Now two runs are in. And he's aboard and got there with a two run single. Consecutive hits he's given up. He can't be out of gas yet. He just has to bear down and get somebody out. They don't want to go to the bullpen this early in the game. It's going to be Wilson now. Now uh, we've seen this club's offense, and I think we're going to see some more. They're running away with it, Steve. Here's the first one, and he gets this one by him on one. Well, this is exactly the situation where he's going to pull the curve ball out. This guy really struggles with it when he's behind. The pitch. There's a swing, line drive, center field. And again, this lineup right now on fire. And the run comes in. Two runs in. He'll pull in the third. That's a two RBI three bagger. And with that, all he needs is a double to complete the cycle. Let's see if he can get another at bat. Hi! Well, this may be one of those games where everybody comes to the plate and everybody gets on. This is a potent offense on the field right now, really dominating. Here's the delivery. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0-1. Well, I have to go out of the strike zone here on the 0-1 count. He tends to be very aggressive here. See if you can't get him to chase. Check swing on that pitch, but it found the zone anyway. 0-2. Missed there. 1-2. Well, anytime you're throwing a fastball down in the zone, especially down and in, the only thing a hitter can do is hit that ball into the ground. Good job of laying off. The one-two pitch. And he struck him out. The side is finally retired. They've really opened this thing up now. They've opened up a seemingly insurmountable advantage. And the three-hole will be coming right up. Fire. Well, big production in this ball game. Already driving in a couple runs and a major factor in this offense. This one swung on, hit down the line and right. One away. Three. up man in the box again. Oh, for three to this point. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And it's through. That's a base hit. Now, well, anytime you can get a guy on base who can steal bases, it puts so much pressure on the opponent. Let's see if they can get him All around right. to score a run. And the right fielder batting again. I'll tell you what, this is one of those decisions you can go either way. He's pitched pretty well to this point, but it is getting late. Do you want to take any chances? The manager decides to go to the pen. To the left side, Bell makes the play on the fly ball. 
Catcher up to the plate. We'll try it again here. Just one for three thus far. Two outs and a man on first. Now the first pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike one. He says, I'm going to go at him, but I'm going to go at him away so that I can't get hurt. He just runs that fastball by him. He deals. This is in the air. Straight away left. And Taylor puts that away to retire the side. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. Looking to the lineup, six, seven, eight hitters on their way to the plate. Bell's in the box. Three for four thus far. And the first pitch. He sends this one in the air towards center. And he makes the catch. It's the way. Number seven. And the number seven batter in the box. He doubled and later scored in his last go around. The first pitch. Hit up the middle. And he pulls into first base for that base hit. There's one down here. Johnny, a real solid approach, trying to work gap to gap up the middle of the field. Gets a fastball on the outer third of the plate, but able to stay on it and get himself a base hit to center. In the batter's box, it's more. Drove in a run earlier in the game. Here's the pitch. Change up just misses. 1-0. Oh. Well, if there's ever been a time they needed a ground ball double play, it is right here. I mean, you cannot let this offense keep going. You've got it out. You've got a man on first base. Roll, roll two. And that's off the plate inside, and it's 2-0. Oh. Oh, Lays three. off now 3-0. Well, you can see what he's doing. He's just pulling that ball away from him, trying to overthrow it, and he can't seem to find the strike zone. He has to be able to rein that thing in right now. Ball that four. misses ball four. Now we're going to see if we'll get some motion on the base pass. Well, it looked like he was taken all the way right there, Gary. Walked him on four straight pitches. And their pitcher at the plate now. One out with runners at first and second. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. As he drops back and puts it away. And they'll try and hold the runners second and first. They stay. Adam Dunn stands in two down. He's looking to extend his hit streak already five for five. First pitch to him. Right something on. off, and it swung on and missed. 0-1. Well, I mean, listen, they, they don't have great chances as it is trailing by this much in the game. But if they give up another couple base hits right here, they've got no chance. So two outs, find an out somewhere. Pitch on the way. Oh. That misses for a ball. The pitch, swing liner back up the middle, and it gets down. I guess we shouldn't be surprised today. Wow, anything he hits is in, and he scores. He just continues to absolutely scald the ball. Six hits in this one. Two out and two on base for Kevin Euclid. Oh, and that's 
too low. 1-0. Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Oh. 1 0 pitch, slider runs outside, 2 0. It gets away from the catcher. Oh. That misses. Ball three. Well, a lot of guys would swing at that pitch right there, that change up down in the strike zone, but the hitter luckily stayed off that one. Here's the pitch. Swung on. That is hit. Oh, man, was that close. That was right back at him. Somebody get out of the way. And they bring him home. And they manage to knock him to run. Take a look down there in the bullpen. They've got a lefty up and throwing. Well, I, I don't see him coming in just yet. I mean, with a, with a righty in the on-deck circle, I don't think that's the matchup they want. Two-run single on that one. Hornsby is the batter. Well, we've seen this club's offense, and I think we're going to see some more. They're running away with it, Steve. Here's the first pick. Oh, and he takes the ball, 1-0. the belt to 1-0. -oh. One ball, one strike. Well, you talk about a big rip at such a slow pitch. Comes up empty. Oh. Missed with the fastball outside. 2-1. Here's the 2-1. Runs inside and gets him. The fastball just gets away from him. Oh, that hurts. Ouch. It's going to be Wilson now. He homered earlier in the ballgame. Boy, good offensive production today. Some quality at bats, driving in runs, and then the power's coming out as well. And I tell you what, this is not a pitch he can't hit. Two down. Runners at first and second. Here it comes. And that's by him on one. Well, here with that hit batter we just saw. Now two runners on base. A little rally starting here. And maybe the pitcher getting a little bit rattled. Hit hard on the ground to short. Throws on the first side is retired. So they scratch across three runs on three hits, two left on base. In the back. Now there's center fielder at the plate. He singled in his last at bat. First pitch on the way. Line drive fouled oh. off towards first. The pitch. This one swung on and driven hard. And it's going to be more. And he grabs it in his tracks. Uh, just having some difficulty right now trying to make up this ground. And, and obviously hey! they've got a hill still to climb. And running out of time right now, only two outs remaining. So they've got to get something going and keep it going. Well, in this situation, coming into the game a little bit cold, you're going to do anything you can to get on base. You need base runners. Towards center field. Down to their final out right here, Gary. So, I mean, they're looking pretty tired at this point. And, you know, but, but listen, plenty of things have happened. They've got to get base runners, though. As the pinch hitter comes into the game now, it officially closes the book on this guy's day. Swing and a fly ball, and this might be it. 
That's the last out. This ball game is now over. Well, Gary, the hometown fans going home very, very happy today as their team played a whale of a ball game in a blowout. Yeah, we like to recognize outstanding performances in our game, so let's do it right now with our player of the game award. Well, you know, Gary, you would love to see him have one more opportunity to try to hit that double so he can get that cycle. What a great individual honor that would have been. But you know he's very happy with the impressive day he had at the plate to help his team win. Steve, it seemed like they knew from the get-go they had it. This was going to be their day, and they were right. Uh, you and I like the close games just because there's a little more intrigue for all nine innings. But the hometown fans, they like the offensive explosion and the big win. Thanks for being with us today. We hope you've enjoyed 2K Sports Major League Baseball. We wrap it up. I'm Gary Thorne with John Crutch, Steve Phillips, and our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you soon.